Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to start with some of the preparation things that I do to kick off spring cleaning. No, today I am not deep cleaning. I am not going that level. That will be my next video. This is just the things I like to do to get my home ready to be able to do that with very minimal extra effort on my part. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I mean by all this to you guys. Let me go ahead and say, yes, there will be cleaning in this video, lots of cleaning motivation, but I'm just knocking the tips and tricks out of the way first for spring cleaning. First tip, designate when you're going to do the actual deep cleaning part of all the added on tasks. Deep cleaning is not the same as your normal everyday cleaning. I don't do my windows every day. I don't dust my vents and things like that every day or even monthly. This is the extra added stuff and it helps you a lot if you have a game plan and a designated set slot of time to do it all in. You do not need to deep clean all in one session either unless you plan to speed clean. I speed clean and I typically do the kitchen because it's a huge area in one day and then the rest of my house in another session. So my deep cleaning usually gets broken up into two, maybe three sessions. The next also big tip I can give you is make a list of the things that you actually wanna do. You can go on Pinterest or online Google and you will find tons of spring cleaning lists. Just Google that or Pinterest that. You will find checklists and they'll tell you exactly what to do. Or I have videos, a bunch of other YouTubers have videos. Go on there and look and it will tell you what to do start to finish if you do not know how to thoroughly deep clean your home that you're supposed to do for the spring season and the fall season. I will walk you around my house in a second and show you several of my projects because the next thing I'm gonna go into is the organization side. Look at your home and see if there's areas that you could better organize or organize for the first time. There's areas of mine I'm gonna show you here in a second where I did the full blown organization and what I did did not work for us and it is a mess. So that is another thing is look for what organization you need to fix and correct ahead of time bins you might want to buy so you can do this over time instead of it being one big drop to your bank account and then the other two tips i can give you if you have things that you know you're going to want to declutter we all do do some decluttering before you do your massive spring cleaning because then it's already out of your way and one less thing to worry about at that time plus it will help you if you are going to do organizational bins you will know ahead of time kind of what the categories are and how many bins you may need and the last one is check your cleaning supplies. Make sure they're not running low. Make sure you have, if it's a certain duster that you like, like my duster, I need to buy a few new heads for the replacement tops. And I use um, a fresh in my dishwasher and in my washing machine. I am out for my dishwasher. So I already went ahead and ordered that. So it will be here when I'm ready to spring clean. Okay, but now that I've gone through all of that stuff to help you get ready, for spring cleaning. I'm gonna start prepping my house today for it with you guys. I'm gonna show you my cleaner closet, which is a disaster. I'm gonna walk you around to where the projects are that I'm gonna be doing. There's some decluttering in this video, some deep, well, not deep cleaning, but some start of the deep cleaning and all of that. Let's just go ahead and get on in. Like this. This is on my list for my spring cleaning. I have candles down here from fall, Christmas, random before Christmas, just Candles, wires all messy. This is one of the projects that I will be deep cleaning. As well as my windows, I will be cleaning the inside, the outside, and then all inside the tracks down there, and as well as in there, cleaning every bit of that. That is on my list. These chairs would typically be a more of a deep cleaning side, but my kids have been destroying them recently. These will be done in the video today. The other chair, this is why they're being done today. As you can see, the red Kool-Aid, my son spilled on it this morning. And at the same time, one of the legs broke, which is why it's on my dining room table. We're fixing the leg, so that way I can scrub that today. On my list for the deep cleaning, my microwave. It is in desperate need to get done. So this will be when I do all of my kitchen stuff, I will do all of the appliances, regardless of just how dire they are, I will do them all. Ignore the peppy for a second, but like in your dishwasher, it needs to be on your list of things you deep clean because look mm. at down there. Every bit of that needs to get cleaned up out of here. So that's another reason why this needs to be on your deep clean list. And then something else that I'm adding to my kitchen deep clean this year is actually my Ninja, because if you look in there, hang on, Ugh. if you look in there, 
you could see just how gross it gets. And I found a trick online. People have asked if I know how to clean one of these. And I've been trying different methods. I found another one that should work very well. I'm just waiting for what I need to get here to show you guys how to clean this. So that will be in my kitchen deep clean. Laundry room is definitely another area that you need to put on your spring cleaning list. When was the last time you washed, like cleaned your washer and your dryer on the outside, on the inside, vacuumed out the lint trap, the full nine, when was the last time you did that? I know for me, it was in the fall. So these are on my list for spring cleaning and to clean whatever that is my kids got on it. But like I said, just go around your house, take a pen and paper with you and start writing down things that are bothering you where they need to be cleaned, organized, whatever. Take it, just write a little list along with you and those are the items that you should do because that is the extra things that are not your everyday cleaning. That's the whole purpose of spring cleaning. Now jumping into my prep work, I have to check on the rest of my cleaners and I told you guys my cleaners have gone overly above to an extreme level. I'm gonna show you what I mean. This closet is where I keep all of these school supplies, books, board games, you name it, and I keep my cleaners in here. Well, I apologize in advance for my Monica closet because here are my cleaners and as you can tell they don't even fit in all these pouches anymore because they're hanging off because there's too many and then in here all along the bottom I've got them piled everywhere including that's cat litter we got to redo today my second vacuum and then the kids have just destroyed all this and I have cleaners going up the shelves into their books it's just a disaster this closet I will not be tackling today. I'm going to get in it real fast and do an inventory of what cleaners are low and things like that that I need to reorder, but I cannot reorganize this because I'm going to put a shelf there, so I can't even do this today until I get the shelving that I need. So this, just you see it, you see my mess, you guys have asked about my cleaners, here they are and I'll be taking care of that over the next couple weeks. Moving back into the kitchen, when I do my big old deep clean in here, I do not like to deal with little things like the drawers. So one thing I do ahead of time as part of my prep work is I will go ahead and knock out the dreaded junk drawer. So this is the first thing I'm gonna start on today. I don't think we got enough time. Sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down. to some more stuff I have laundry and things like that and I'm just gonna hop into those next but while I was still in the kitchen I want to show you guys something real fast I was in Hobby Lobby and I found these cute little popsicle things in their summer section and their summer stuff is half off but you stick a little popsicle stick in there and if it melts the kids can you know suck on this like a straw so I thought these are really neat so I got these for my younger three I love Kim the wad squads I've watched her forever she is the most hysterical thing in the entire world and she's been using a garlic dicer like this and I finally found one so I'm going to give this thing a try here soon but I was really excited to find that never up never down never like a theme in a song clever feeling high feeling low so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. Oh. 
is a good example of what I mean when I have organized and it does not work for our family. Like I did several different kinds of rags in here. Now it's just a mess of all the rags. I gotta figure out that again. All of the sheets, that didn't work out. Towels went fine, but they're all in the wash right now. That's Gwenny's potty training basket. That's some extra random holiday crap. I need more paper towels. Toilet paper is always fine. So some of it works, some of it doesn't. And up here was supposed to be beach towels all the queen sheets and extra throw blankets, and as you can tell, that didn't work for us either. But like the organization underneath the bathroom sink has worked. It's just a few little things that are over, but if I put a third basket there, it would probably fix that with no problem. But like this organization has worked out fine. And speaking of decluttering, if you wanna go ahead and knock this part out now, I just had to buy new medicine because I didn't check the expiration date recently and then, hold on, my Tylenol expired in November. So that's one part of my spring cleaning when I do decluttering. I go around and I check on expiration dates on things. That way I know to get them out. Like all the kids, all their meds are fine. I've already checked theirs, but I checked mine this past week and mine was expired. So part of decluttering, check expiration dates. We haven't had a rug out front in a while because the last several times I've had a decorative one like this on this brown stuff. It just attracts so much grass when my husband cuts the lawn, so much dirt, it's just a mess. Well, somewhere on TikTok, I fell down the rabbit hole and it said this Flex Seal spray stuff, the clear one, you could spray all over it, let it dry, and then it will be fine against all of the elements. So that's what I'm actually gonna go try next, is to spray that and let it dry. But I just thought the new rug was cute. I found that at Hobby Lobby and their rugs were half off, so I paid less than 10 bucks for that and just a closer up of the can that I will be using. I've never used Flexi before, so that was a little weird, but the whole can is on the rug and I'm gonna let it dry. I will update you guys over here, but it will take probably another week or two before I could do that. I'll update Instagram stories a little more frequently, so if you're not following me over there, follow me if you want updates on that or anything else.
puppy paw prints. They go all over my table and around my kitchen, but I have to do the floors next. And it's probably hard to see, but the floor, you can tell it's wet right here. This is where I was using the steamer. It does put water on your floor, so just be careful where you use that if you've never used one. And more puppy paws going around the table all the way that way. But what I wanted to show you is I've told you guys that my mop bucket died and it did. Like if you step on the pedal, it just stays down. So I had to get a new bucket. clothes right here and working on that chemical closet down there which is an absolute disaster and I tried to film cleaning that closet before for you guys and it's just not possible anyways so I will just show you guys what it looks like when it's done in a different video I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one here because I'm pretty good and kicked off for spring cleaning I gave you guys all the tips and everything go around check your house see what you want to do see what you need to get and we can kick off spring cleaning this coming week when March rolls around if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and you want more cleaning motivation. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>